Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Sunday, November 12th. We're going to take a look at Palantir today. So Palantir is just completely crushing it at the moment. Um, congrats to the Palantir Bulls as of late. Um, we spotted a couple of breakouts in previous weeks, and uh, they it's really playing out. It's really impressive moves. I mean, this day here up over 20%, and then kicked it up another 5 Brief drawdown, right? It hit exactly these levels where we had on the chart, 1919 down to 18, established there, and then just pushed really hard Friday off of that level up over 7.5%. So, you know, what more could you ask for? <laughs> um, now, it did leave to the extent that we want to just keep an eye on this. There's a big gap down here that it would get into the gap at about 1721. It would fill the gap at, uh, what is it actually? It would fill it at 1496. So that would push it back down to wrestle with the $15 level. Um, 1505 is that support level that we have on the chart. But, um, you know, it's quite far away from that at the moment. So we'll see. You know, we've had, obviously, tremendous ups and downs previously. Um, if it does get into that range, you know, we'll put in, you know, something of a floor here in the high 13s because that has held up several times before. Um, and it didn't need to come down that far in that most recent swing. So a uh, pretty interesting move here. I did put a level in at 2001, basically a $20 psychological level. So as it approaches that, be interesting to see what happens. You do see it played really well off of that, the wick here, the body here, and then it was back to retracement land, right? So um, I don't know what that's going to look like this time. We still have 2121 on the chart up above that level if it is able to push through 20. Um, certainly if it can top this high and sort of pop in at 20 and a quarter, you know, maybe then there is some run room. Um, you know, there's not a lot of previous price action in that range. You know, there's some, but not a lot. Um, and, you know, this is pretty smooth sailing. This was just batting itself around between that 2001 level and that 2121 level. So again, is it choppy in there? Maybe, but there also might not be a ton of walls. We'll just have to wait and see if it gets up there or not. Uh, now on the think or swim study, it is pushing out of the upper bound of the channel. Um, so to the extent to which that sort of matters, uh, you know, it, it can spend quite a bit of time out of the channel. This was several days out of the channel before it reverted and tested the mid range of the channel. But that's ultimately what we look for. But that was on, you know, a, a previous big swing up and it's kind of wrestling more with the upper bound of the channel versus the one back here. It was a pretty smooth extraction. I guess it wrestled with it a bit here, but when it extracted, you know, it really, really pushed up nice and smooth. You see a, um, a candle here that it, it called out, uh, you know, the potential for an upward motion slightly drew down and then it pushed off of the cloud. So, you know, some similarities here, maybe, right at the upper bound of the channel, a conviction candle pointing upward, um, but there's a lot. These like misread a lot. You see down there, um, you see up here, which I guess played out briefly. I guess it depends how much of a time frame you give them, um, but this one obviously just a misread, um, uh, and that can happen, you know, over here also. Uh, so, but just interesting that it's happening here, and, and it did happen, you know, back here as well, and that's when you had a really big push, really big move. So. We'll see what that looks like, but in any case, if it does have sort of an extended run outside of the upper bound of the channel, you know, we're going to start looking for, okay, when is this going to pull back into the channel and retest this bright blue line, the mid-range of the channel, and see if there's still support there, if it needs to sort of settle there and, and coil there for a while, or if it's going to lose support there and come, you know, put in some motion through toward the lower bound of the channel um, as sort of like a, you know, a healthy pullback, maybe, that sort of thing. But... We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but just wanted to let folks know it is already shifting itself outside of the upper bound of the channel. So do with that information what you will, <laughs> of course. Um, but, you know, the bullish momentum picking up is still relatively new. 
So that said, this bearish momentum uh, picked up quickly, but died off really quickly. So, you know, it's it's obviously Palantir is prone to volatile herky-jerky moves. And even within a compressed sort of, um, you know, price range, like we saw here, we've seen that definitely previously as well. It can just sort of be a, a pretty big moves up and down, but within a, a a price range that's not sort of spectacularly large, you know, say 14 to 16, you know, but percentage wise, you can have some big up days and big down days in there and still stay within that range. So it's just a weird one like that. And then it can kind of fly and then fly and then get stuck. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's not necessarily that unique to Palantir, but, uh, you know, you see these previous periods of just getting stuck for lengthy periods of time. And uh, it's, it's interesting in its volatility that looks like this and its volatility that looks like this. To me, both are volatile, but it's just one looks like a compression and a coiling and one looks like a clear, you know, move upward or downward. Uh, that's relatively extreme in nature. All right, folks, I hope that you have had a good weekend and that you start off the week strong tomorrow. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.